Here we are in the procedure room. This is uh, Mrs. M. We've just completed a kyphoplasty. Hello. Uh, kyphoplasty was uh, uh, at L1. Mrs. M had a fracture uh, at L1. And Mrs. M, you're now, you, you, you're on the other side of the fracture and now we're waiting for the cement to harden. And uh, thank you for making the little video. I really appreciate that. But what I wanted people to kind of learn about is what was it like? So how did you know you had something wrong? How did you know you have a fracture in your back? Well, when I fell, I immediately knew something was wrong because I couldn't, I couldn't really get up. They had to help me get up. And you had pain right in the, in the back? Yeah. yeah. And it didn't go down the leg or anything? No. No. And so you knew something was amiss right away. Right. And zero to 10, how bad was that pain then? Anytime I moved, yes. it was bad. Oh, that's interesting. It was especially with movement. You could find a kind of comfortable position. If I lie flat on my back yes. without moving, I was fine. Okay. All right. So then we saw each other and zero to 10 with movement, what would you say it is? With movement? You're like how, how bad would it get when you're moving around? Zero to 10. Bad. Like it's, eight, nine? Yeah. yeah. It's excruciatingly yeah. bad. I couldn't move really. And that's the way you felt even this morning, huh? Yes. When you came in? This morning was really bad. Okay. So we, we've had the kyphoplasty. We put in about uh, almost three and a half cc's of cement. Uh, how bad was that procedure? Oh, that was, well, they, they made me very comfortable. Right, but we didn't use any sedation or anything, did we? So no. We just numbed you up a little bit. Right. But did you have much pain with the procedure? No. no. Okay, good. All right, well, I'm anxious. We're gonna find out. So right now we, we're looking at this right here, which is kind of interesting. This is some of the cement. Now this is the same batch that we put in Mrs. M. And so uh, it's getting firm now. It's just a little extra we had and we kind of hold on to this gel. And when it starts getting hard, uh, it's when we allow her to get off the, uh, the table. But you can see it's, uh, it's kind of a disc here. I've just, it's, sque it's squishy right now. and deform it like that. But that's what's going on, and it's going to harden up. How much? How much actually was in there? Well, I put about almost that much inside. Really? Yes. Was yeah. that big a fracture? Yes. It was a big fracture. Is that because of the osteoporosis that I have? It is, and that's how. How long have you had osteoporosis? <clears throat> oh, many years. And do you know what your DEXA score is, or what any of your numbers are for the osteoporosis? No, not often. Yeah, but that's definitely a risk factor: osteopenia, osteoporosis. And generally in uh, thinner ladies actually get it more commonly than, uh, and so it's, it's one of those things that might be of a little my benefit. Mother, my mother had it. Okay. And I think my grandmother did too. Yeah. Because she used to break ribs very easily. Well, that's that definitely a sign then. Yes. And actually, I had trouble when my kids were young, leaning over the bathtub. Okay. But I, I tried to be careful. Yes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this video and then I'll take a little video a little bit later. Okay. And see how you're doing. Okay. Do you mind if I put this on my website, on my YouTube channel? Is that okay? I'm going to become a celebrity. Yeah. Famous. Yes. All right. Thank you. All right. So this is kind of how it works. I mean, you can see here, we've got, uh, the, the trocar and it's, uh, we start over here going through the skin and then we gradually come and touch the bone. And then as we go forward anterior, we pass through what's called the pedicle. And then once we're in the body, you can see it's coming towards the, the middle of the body. This is the body with the fracture here. And so um, that's our aim. So next shot, you can see from the lateral. So now we've gone and the fracture is right in here. And that's where we're trying to, uh, to fill this area with cement and then push this up a little bit. And you can see as we go down, now we're using a little drill to advance. That's the balloon uh, before we have any contrast in it. And now you can see from the a what we call the AP that we're just across the midline, right in the middle of the fracture. And, uh, and if you go back and see, we're right towards the front of the body. So really here, the fracture is right in here, right in there. So then we pull it back a little bit and we start uh, inflating. We've already inflated up in here. And so now we're pushing the, the roof of the L1 vert vertebral uh, end plate up and extending it. And then we start filling the cement from the front to the back. You can see this is that gray uh, filling in uh, the fracture site. 
You can see a crossing now uh, from the AP, this is the left and right, and it's filling in that fracture area. And now this is what we have filled. We've filled the entire level of the fracture all the way into the base of it, and then all the way across uh, from left and right. And that's the, the finished product. So we'll see how she does. Um, the cement is now hard, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's very warm we can, when we touch it, so, but inside the body it's also warmed up and it's, and it's set now. So I'll be curious to see how she, she is when she gets up. All right, here we are, just moments after uh, the kyphoplasty. So how do you feel now? Much better. Um, when is, I stood up, I didn't have pain and that was like amazing. Oh, that's fantastic. So well, let's uh, see each other in about a week, see how you're doing at that point. Okay. But I think you're just gonna keep on getting better and better and I'm glad, so, I mean, it's amazing to me that you can, okay. once those little bony segments stop moving around, the pain goes away. I know how to do a lot of that. Can so, I take this? You may take that. Thank Absolutely. You. Is it warm still? No. No. What's it feel like? What's that? This? Yeah. Like a little rock. Yeah, that's that's it. That's what's inside you right now. It's amazing. It is amazing, isn't it? But it might be this big a piece, right? Yeah. It is about that big. There you go. So is this considered a large fracture or a small? Pretty big fracture. So if you get on the scale, you just subtract about two or three pounds because. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. So let me ask you a question. Sure. If I feel I should have this follow-up procedure, yes. how long do you wait to do that? At least two, well, two months or so. Yeah, not even that. I mean, it could be uh, what we're talking about is um, we noted on the MRI some spinal stenosis. So the question Mrs. M has is uh, when could we do a procedure to remove the pressure from the canal. And the answer is the kyphoplasty just is, it's a non-issue. Literally a day later, you could have another surgery. There's no recovery period, really. So. What do you do when you do that um, for the stenosis? Well, I'll, I'll explain it. Let me just turn this off real quick. Thanks again.